welcome you all back to day three of our annual prize giving um, 2020. And can I first of all thank the Trad Band for the performance of their jigs there just now. Like all other performances that you're hearing throughout the course of this week, these are all performed individually by pupils in their own homes and then sent to Mr Clifford who is combining them all very creatively and very cleverly to create the performance that you're, you're hearing tonight. Trad Band are going from strength to strength. They have performed at many venues and that includes the Scottish Parliament building this year where they performed brilliantly for the Duke of Edinburgh Awards ceremonies. Yesterday we saw many of our S4 pupils receiving awards for the, the amount of work and the effort that they've put into their studies this year. Today it's the turn of the S5 and 6 pupils and to tell you a wee bit more about that I'm going to hand over to Mr McDowell who is the year head in charge of S5 and S6. In order for a pupil to receive an S5, S6 subject prize award, we are looking for pupils who have shown a real commitment to the subject, have been dedicated throughout the year and have shown real focus. Our two larger awards, which will be announced on Friday, our Proximia Kesset Award and our Ducks, we take information from staff in terms of assessment, throughout the year, prelim scores um, and estimates to ultimately determine who receives the Proximia Kesset and Ducks Awards. I will now pass over to Mrs Barclay who will take you through the winners of our S5 and S6 subject prizes. German, Sophie Archer. Fashion and Textiles, Charlotte Banks. RMPS and History, Caitlin Burnett. Computing, Andrew Byrne. Dance, Lauren Cooley. PE and Business Management, Anya Coulter. Photography and Graphcom, Emma Fraser. Modern Studies, Spanish and Geography, Marco Galindo. Physics, Caitlin Gillespie. Music, Katie Henry. Politics, Chris Hewlett. Practical Woodwork, Callan Hull. Practical Cake Craft, Paige Marshall. Practical Cookery, Duncan McConkey. Classical Studies, Caitlin Morrison. Administration, Paul Murphy. Design and Manufacture, Brody Robertson. Health and Food Technology, Shan Scott Angel. Engineering Science, Heather Thompson. English and Chemistry, Grace Tyndall. And Art and Design, Lauren Williams. Congratulations to all of the S5 and S6 subject prize winners. Now to finish off tonight's prize giving we have a very special musical item. A couple of weeks into lockdown, Mr Clifford and the music department wanted to provide an outlet for pupils, families, staff and friends to use music as a way of providing hope. They also saw an opportunity for pupils to send a message to loved ones far away as well as thanking all key workers and paying tribute to those who are sadly not with us anymore. The greatest gift was written. They expected that only around 10 people would send in videos. However, over 250 videos were received, which goes to show that where there is music, there is hope. The main vocalists were Emily Meaton, Gordon MacDonald and Roseanne Watkins. 
who are in the new S3, who I am proud to have seen perform many times over the past two years. The song and video have been viewed over 20,000 times over the past four weeks, which goes to show how powerful and inspirational music can be. Before we see the video, I will hand over to Mr Clifford, who has a very special dedication. To hear of the passing of a former pupil of our Alvar Academy family came as an enormous shock to everyone. Tragically, just a few weeks ago, 21-year-old Corbin Ward passed away unexpectedly. Corbin was a fun-loving, vibrant, kind and generous young man, and he was deeply loved by his family and his friends. As a mark of our respect, on behalf of Alvar Academy, we dedicate this next piece to his memory. <laughs> 